What is going on guys? Welcome to your 10th HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying a style and pretty much adding some CSS to make this plain Jane boring website look prettier and I'm going to show you guys how to lay out websites awesomely. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to hop over away from our HTML file and into our CSS file. Now the very first thing or the very first style we want to apply is a style to the overall pretty much all the tags so I'm gonna be setting the margin a default margin of zero pixels and I'm also gonna be if I can copy this bad boy I'm gonna be setting a default padding of zero pixels as well never saying okay that seems kinda of redundant isn't that the case with all the stuff why do you need to set everything to zero pixels well some elements have default margins and default paddings and this pretty much resets everything back to zero because we want to lay things out very specifically so if they have like a default margin of five pixels it's going to throw our layout off so we pretty much want to ensure that our margin and padding is at zero by default make sense so now what I want to do is I'm going to go over a few simple tags and just make it look prettier the very first tag I want to go out over is the headings. I say go out with, embarrassing. So we have heading one, I think it's our main title. Yep, welcome to the new Boston. And also each one of our articles in the main content has a heading one as well. So let's go ahead and, whoa, kind of got lost there for a second. I do that a lot. And let's go ahead and change the font to make it look prettier. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to bold. 20 pixels and Tahoma. I really like Tahoma for some reason. And the order you need to do this is weight, the font weight, which is bold, the size, and the font family. And I'm also going to do this to heading two as well. So let me copy that beast. And I'm just going to, well, might as well keep that all the same, except for heading two, I'm going to change that to a size of 14. That'll make heading one a little bit bigger than heading two and if we go ahead and take a look at our website we can see that okay heading one is a little bit bigger than heading two and it has a nice Tahoma font definitely better than that default Times Roman or Arial whatever the heck it was so now that our headings are looking a little bit better I need to tell you guys something else some browsers don't recognize those HTML5 tags or some browsers also treat them as inline elements. Now if you remember, whenever you have block elements, block elements are always positioned one other one under each other. And inline elements are kind of elements that get positioned from left to right. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that this website is compatible with all browsers so we need to take all of those HTML5 tags and we need to make sure that they're going to be displayed as block elements rather than inline and also let our browsers recognize them so this is pretty much ensuring that all browsers handle our website in the same way in the most simple terms so put header section and you need to spell all this right footer let's see what else did we have aside nav article CLE I believe it is come on baby I'll get it eventually and H group and I actually want to make sure I didn't forget anything header section footer aside I wish there was a you know, H Harry Sally Freddy and Ned eight hens okay <laughs> okay Harry Wow, definitely forgot that already. I'm just <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and assume I have everything. If I see something's messed up later on, then oh well, I'll fix it then. But not my little mnemonic device did not work in that case. Embarrassing. So anyways, how you do that is put display block. And what this does is pretty much makes all of these tags block level elements. So now we can go ahead and move on to the last um, kind of tag we want to tackle today and that is the body now remember everything is surrounded in this main div tag called big wrapper and that is pretty much enclosed in the tag body so what we need to do is in this body we just need to text align this 
to center. And they were saying, okay, why would I even need to mess with the body if everything else is enclosed in this big div? Well, in some older browsers as well, and this tutorial is pretty much taking care of all the older browsers, all the nitty gritty technical stuff. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be making everything look pretty and laying it out. But you definitely need this or else people are going to complain that your website looks weird. So anyways, like I was saying, in some older browsers, you need this text line property to ensure that your website is centered. If you don't have this, then everything else is going to look nice, but it's all going to be shifted to the left. And most websites are centered. Some are shifted to the left if you want to go for that then hey that's all you but anyways this is just to take care of old browser compatibility so now that we have all that boring crap done we can finally start laying our website out to look nice and pretty so that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial it's going to be a blast so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys later